Hey everyone, this video is also a giveaway, which is very rare on my channel, but if you are interested in winning the custom I make in this video, make sure to watch till the results. Thank you! I have done it. I have found the weirdest littlest pet shop that exists on this earth. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Eyeballs. <laughs> oh no! Oh. Hi, are you okay? I'm so sorry. Oh, oh my gosh. You are so rude, Mr. Eyeballs. Why would you try to murder Vi? She has done nothing to you. So I was scrolling on eBay, very dangerous thing to do, and I saw this very um peculiar looking littlest pet shop creature here. It is a frog but it just looks so terrifying and I don't know why, but I bought it. <laughs> so I got to thinking, what if I tried to make this LPS somehow with my LPS custom knowledge, make it look cute? Because this thing is just weird. I mean, come on, it doesn't even have a butt. So this is one of the newer generation Lil's Pet Shop, if you can't tell, it's got this very Interesting logo. I've never seen that before. Um, it's got this kind of ball and joint type neck head thing and uh, its body is very um, odd. The head itself is magnificently large. The brains that could fit in this little pet shop is unmatched. Um, its eyeballs are very terrifying. I feel like this custom might murder me in my sleep. Again, it doesn't have a butt. What is this? What is that? unacceptable. So since I like to torture myself, today I'm gonna try to paint this and um, we're gonna see what we come up with. The only hope I see for this little pet shop looking cute is its big round eyeballs. Mr. Eyeballs has quite the eyeballs um, and I, in my experience, big round eyes have quite the tendency to look adorable once painted. So I have some hope. Maybe it can look good. I don't know how I feel about this mouth. It looks absolutely weird. Anyway, I needed some help. I had no idea, I have no idea where to start with this. So I asked you guys on Instagram to send me the cutest frogs you can find on my Instagram story. And let's see what you came up with. Let's look at some of this. <laughs> Starting off very strong, frog with raspberry. I am liking this one. He looks like a happy, happy fella with his little party hat. Oh my gosh, look at that frog hat. It's beautiful. Oh Oh my gosh, he's so tiny. Whoa, look at that frog. It looks like glass. That one's kind of pretty. That would look cool, wouldn't it? Oh my gosh, that's cute. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> but that is very cute. That is actually kind of weird. Why do they have tongues? I mean, of course they have tongues. Well, do they? They kind of look like a human tongue. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I kind of like that one. Man, this, this frog's got drip. <laughs> this one's got, this one's got butterfly wings. Oh, cute! He's got a little flower on his head. <laughs> That's pretty. The frog who came to dinner. That poor butterfly. Rest in pickles. Quite the beautiful frog though, wow. Hello, gorgeous. Here we are inside, welcome to my desk. After carefully reviewing all of your photos, I have decided upon this beautiful frog. I'm really interested in making something that looks a little bit more realistic. Um, so I immediately I'm already more inclined to pick a green frog. However, I really like this photo as well where it shows kind of this pinkish underbelly. I feel like even though you can't really see the underside of this frog, that's another color to work with to make it a little bit more interesting. But there was also this last photo um, that shows a frog with butterfly wings. Yes. I, I think that there's something missing on his back end area, besides a butt, of course. Something else is missing some majestic butterfly wings. It would suit this Mr. Eyeballs very pleasantly, if I do say so myself. I'm so excited because I cleaned out my whole desk and now it looks gorgeous in here. I wish I could show you, but my clean and your clean is probably different. The first thing we need is a knife, of course. This mouth, I'm sorry, it's just, it's, it's gotta go. I, I hate it. It, it needs to die immediately. Schnipperter, schnipperter. Oh, ah, whatever. Okay, oh, I'm loving it already, so much better. Let me just like uh, clean this up a bit, looks a little morbid. Got some lines going on here. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I 
forgot to take the thumbnail photo. I was gonna take a photo of this frog. I'm a little late for that now. Hope I can figure that one out. Sorry, future Hello Studios. When you're trying to make a thumbnail, you'll have to use the footage that you've already made with this frog. Because I'm a big dum-dum and didn't think about that. Okay, so it's pretty abrasive, as you can see. It's hard to tell what's going on when there's light colors. I'm gonna paint this black very soon so I can see exactly what's going on here, but... I'm gonna shave it down a little bit more. <clears throat> I got green frog chunks all over my desk. <laughs> I cannot have these eyeballs staring at me any longer. It is time for the dark base coat. Are you ready to be painted? Bloop. Bloop, bloop. Bloop, 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 bloop. It's starting to look like an alien. I don't know why I picked such a terrible base. Why did I do this to myself? I'm kind of second guessing the wings idea too. Maybe that's not a good idea? I don't know. People send me a few photos with uh, like stuff on the head, like raspberries or flowers or lily pads or something like that. I just think the head is already so large that it would be a mistake to add more weight so it might fall, but I don't know. Ah, this is difficult. This is very difficult. My, my greatest challenge yet. Hello Studios has met her match. Now I have to sculpt a mouth. Why did I do this to myself? Was it worth it? We're gonna find out. Get my handy dandy pointy tool. I swear by this thing, it's beautiful. He's a bit fried up though from past experiments. Get all that junk off there. You know what, I'm gonna get an LPS frog and compare what they've done with the mouths and see what I can learn. Okay, so um, the mouths on the LPS frogs are very large and I don't think I want, I mean, I guess I could replicate that if I really wanted to, but I'm actually kind of thinking. I found this, and it's kind of a condensed version where there's more of a muzzle. I don't really want a muzzle though, so I was thinking like this, but flat. Maybe. I'm gonna try to use this as a reference. Start with smoothing this out. I don't know guys, I'm nervous. I think I've, I've met my sparring match here. Hello Studios versus Frog. But if you really think about it, there's a lot of LPS bases that are never used for customs. I mean, what if this ends up looking adorable? But like, just looking at this right now, it could kind of be an axolotl, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like, you could sculpt your own mouth. It's got kind of the face for it. I don't know. Maybe I'd have seen axolotl and everything. Why is this so dirty too? Take some water, help smooth it out. The water also tends to rub off the paint, as you can see, but doesn't matter. That paint is just a placeholder anyway. See how that just makes it so much easier to see what's going on, well, once it's dry. That is one of my best tricks, is I always paint my bases black as I'm working on them so I can see what I'm working with as I'm doing it. Tips and tricks with Mother Studios. Okay, now that I see this, I'm also getting major dinosaur vibes because I really wanted to make LPS dinosaurs kind of mock up really fine art type sculpture LPS dinosaur. And this just has like a very repti reptilian face in my opinion. Like the, the curve feels very reminiscent. Something to think about. Something I might come back to. Maybe I'll buy this base again. But for right now, we're just making a frog. We're keeping it simple. Simple and straightforward. Okay, so this bit is still gonna need smoothed down, but for now, I actually wanna sculpt the mouth. Which is going to be slightly difficult, but we'll try it. Hmm. A basic shape. He needs a little bit more chin, I think. I'm really going all in on that axolotl idea because now he's got a smile, a little axolotl smile. Okay, I came up with this. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, I don't have a lot of practice sculpting mouths, so it's already something I'm a little bit nervous about doing, which is a good indication I should do it more, but oh my gosh, I don't know. At least it's not the mouth it was before, so I'm going to say that's a win. I just do not know how this will look painted, but... Uh, that's what I came up with. Hopefully, I thought it was like a little bit frog-like. Anyway, I'm going to go cure this clay and I will be back 
And then we will get started on the painting or the wings. I'm not sure which. Okay, I think it's growing on me. I wanted to uh, take this nail filer and try to smooth it a little bit more. You can see it's a tiny bit bumpy. I'm being very gentle though, because I don't want to make ugly sanding lines. Hopefully a bit of an improvement from the first mouth. I have another tip. Oh, big boy Mod Podge right here. This is another good way to get very smooth uh, transitions between clay and LPS. Make sure you water down your Mod Podge. I like to do this after I sand. I feel like it really helps to make everything cohesive. It kind of fills in gaps I've noticed. Um, but obviously I'm going to avoid the mouth area because I don't want to fill in the nostrils or the mouth. Um, they are very uh, subtle. If I do go over them, they're going to be very, very light with water. Okay, while we let that dry, I have an idea about the wings. So I'm using some wire, but also I had this idea. So I have these um, butterfly stickers. And I had two pairs of them, so I just cut them in half. And I think I'm gonna stick them together with the wire in between, and it'll make like a cool butterfly wing effect. I've never done this before, it's just an idea. These were very cheap stickers off Amazon, but let's see if I can get this. So that's what I got, and then I'm gonna take this one and stick it on this side perfectly as I can. I'm basically just following along the lines as well as I can, using expert scissoring skills. Boom. Okay, I'll do the other ones off camera for a sec. Okay, so here's my idea in full motion. Ta-da! Wait, let me see. I wonder if they're gonna be too big for the little frog. Too big? Ooh, I didn't think about that. Well, it certainly solves the gap issue, but I don't know. Might be too big? Whatever, we'll worry about that later. For now, this is dry. Let's start with a green base coat. How about that? How about that? To achieve the more natural green I'm going for, I think I'm gonna go with this kind of green with this kind of brown mixed together. We'll see how that looks. I really need to go paint shopping because all the greens I have are fluorescent. <laughs> how do I get by? I have to mix everything. Do you guys like paint mixing? Sorry for my disgusting palette, by the way. <laughs> Ooh, mixy, mixy, mixy. Okay. Oh, this is pretty good color. Let's get some white, actually, to lighten it. I've said this many times before, but the preferred brand of paint I enjoy is called Americana. Hmm. I kind of want, like, need something else. Maybe, like, a little bit of blue. Me likey. Now I'm just going to dry brush this color on. That helps keep it a uh, smooth base coat. So this first pass is gonna look really bad. <laughs> Translation. Okay, so that's one base coat. Still looks like poo poo. Let's do another one. There's like nothing to hold on to while you're painting this. So I decided to detach the head from the body. I was just having some problems with the uh, tops of the legs hitting the custom here and creating dents. So we're gonna paint them separately. Here's what he looks like. I still don't, I don't know what the shape of this head is just wigging me out. It's like a peanut, that's what it looks like. <laughs> The body's still drying, but I'm gonna mix up that kind of pale peach color now that goes 
on the chest and the chin of the frog. Just trying to create a transitional shade so it's not so abrupt. Got this peach color. Now that it's being painted, I'm feeling a lot better about this mouth. I thought it looked really weird before, but it's starting to look okay. I mean, I won't speak too soon, but I'm pretty okay with it, considering how bad I am at sculpting mouths. I'm trying to blend this out really well. Right now it kind of looks fuzzy, which isn't um, a texture you want on a reptile. Did I mention ombre is also something I'm not very good at? <laughs> this custom is giving me a lot of practice on things I'm not very good at. Okay, I've got this slight purplish. I'm gonna try to fit it in the mouth to try to create a shadow. Something very subtle. And probably the nostrils as well. I'm gonna use a really small brush for that bit. Bringing a little bit of this color around the eye. Okay, so this is what it's looking like, and I'm getting ready to attach the wings. Um, my idea to attach them is there's this little hole on the bottom, so I drilled some holes like that, and they fit through there. Hopefully the wire um, goes through nicely, and then I'll just glue it. Seems like a stable way to do it. Ooh! So I'm having actually a little bit of trouble here. You can see the sticker is kind of opening a bit. This side is good. This side, I think I didn't stick it properly and now some like debris got in there so it's not really sticking. So I think I'm gonna put some uh, glue in between there and also glue to hold the, the metal pieces in place, the wire. Um, and I think if I bend it in this way, kind of flatter, the head still fits and it still looks cool. I mean, what do you guys think of this experiment? Was it good? What do you think? I can always try this on a different custom later on. Um, I just wanted to test out this idea. Let me go ahead and glue that. And while we wait on this to dry, now it's time for the most satisfying part, the eyeballs. I've been excited to paint these big round eyes ever since we started, so let's start with a black base coat. Oh, this is gonna be fun. You know what, I'm gonna get my zoom up thing. I'm gonna get it really close for y'all. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Are you ready? Ready for this emotional journey? There's nothing more fun than painting big circular eyes like this black. I, I It's my favorite part of doing customizing. This is the part where I can't talk because I'm too focused. <laughs> That was so, so much fun. I had a lot of fun doing that. <laughs> so I'm thinking of making his eyes either green or brown. I'm not sure. I guess brown would probably suit like the natural frog eye color from what I've observed from frogs. They kind of have this brown tint to their eye, um, but green would look nice, so I'm not sure. Okay, I think I'm going for brown. Just gonna follow my gut. My gut says brown. I think I'm going to start 
I'm, I'm gonna add some purple for like a shading technique for the eyes. That's kind of something I like to do every once in a while. Make them pop a little bit. I don't know how well it will show up on the dark, but we'll see. Okay, let's get the head back on the body. Oh boy. Hopefully it doesn't damage anything up here or I will cry. I didn't really think about the fact it could damage the uh, sculpting I did, but... Oh, that makes me nervous now that I think about it. YOLO. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. This is making me nervous. Why didn't I think about this? I'll just do it. Oh no! Did you see that? No. Oh, this was such a mistake. Ah! Hair dryer, please solve this problem. Oh my gosh, this is so nerve-wracking. Ah! Why did I do this to myself? This was supposed to be the fun, satisfying part, not the stressed out part. I made an amateur move. Because I'm worried if I squeeze this, it's going to ruin the clay up there. Because it's kind of fragile. Oh my gosh. Please get in. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. Thank you. That was some stress I did not need in my life. <laughs> ah. Okay, there's one more thing I want to do, which is to take some of these pastels and um, make it a little bit cuter by adding highlights. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to take the pastels and I'm going to take a Q-tip and get a little bit of color on. And it just kind of creates a dusty, like a, you can create really easy, like, color enhancements, I suppose. I really like doing this. It's kind of like a fun little trick. If you want to do like blush, um, I'm thinking around the feet definitely, first off. I'm still like, oh, that was horrible. <laughs> Trying to get that head on. You can see the mouth bending and everything. Can you imagine if it broke it? Oh, that would be awful. That'd be my worst nightmare. I actually kind of want to get some pink, like make it look a little bit more alive. Ooh, I don't like that color. Why did I pick that color? You can also use makeup as well if you want to try this. You know, I have a makeup palette. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it. Just like eyeshadow. Really old eyeshadow palette I got from my mum. Right around its eyes. A little bit on his nose. And we are not done yet because I have one more thing I want to do to enhance it. Besides the uh, glossing eyes, of course. So I'm going to take some Duraclear gloss varnish and I'm going to add a sort of scale effect. Um, I like doing this for my reptiles. I know that frogs do not have scales, but I like to be able to move it and have like a little bit of shiny reflection on some things. I could just do the whole body and like make it kind of shiny but I think that would be too much. It might look a little tacky. So I'm just gonna add shines where I feel like it'll look good, but not like too much, if that makes sense. Like if, say its feet are gonna be slimy. So I'm gonna add some to its toes. And I'm thinking kind of like this area on its chest, a little bit right on its legs. Then right above its nose, like, little splotches of shine. I'm also going to add this as a pre-gloss um, to its eyes before I go back in with some resin. Well, all that's really left is glossing the eyes. Also the most satisfying part. <laughs> Thank you. 
So after a long and perilous journey, we have finally reached the end. And I have finished this custom. So here are the results. Here we are. The littlest pet shop frog from the weirdest base I could find. Now has cute little wings and an upgraded mouth. Big, wonderful eyes. Mr. Eyeballs has definitely got the upgrade. I'm surprised at how much I like him now. Um, I was really, it was just a really difficult project to undertake, even though it didn't take very long. I just don't like uh, working on bases I'm not familiar with sometimes, especially if they just look bad at the beginning. It's hard to imagine them looking a certain way. Um, I really like uh, how the wings are movable on this custom, so it makes it, he's really fun to perch on things, if that makes sense. Uh, you can sit him on like bottles or uh, countertops just with his little wings dangling off. I think it looks really pretty, almost fairy-like. Anyway, what do you think? Do you think he got an upgrade? Do you think he looks better? I think his mouth is okay. I'm still, I'm still iffy, but I think, I think all in all it's better than before, so at least there's that much. And here's the exciting bit is, I did mention this briefly at the beginning of the video. As a little thank you to you guys who support my channel, watch my videos, um, have helped me grow this far. I really wanted to give this custom away um, as a thank you for that. Uh, this giveaway is worldwide, free shipping everywhere. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is comment something about frogs, which could be like a fact, something interesting you know about them, maybe your experience with them, if you like frogs, if you don't like frogs, anything about frogs, or you can comment something you like about the custom. Mr. Eyeballs is his official name. <laughs> Um, that can be anything at all. You can write some frog poetry for me if you if you so wish to. Um, feel free to include your Instagram username. You do not have to do that, but it will make it very easy for me to contact you if you win. Um, and then make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel and you leave a like on this video. That's all you have to do to enter this giveaway for Mr. Eyeballs. He's completely free worldwide shipping. Um, I will be picking a winner in three weeks. I will be putting the date on this screen and uh, I will make sure to update the description and the title of this video when the giveaway is closed. I wanted to host a giveaway because um, this custom is pretty simple first off, but also you guys have always supported me. I watched my videos and I really appreciate uh, all the years of you guys taking care of me, you know? I really appreciate it. Um, Hello Studios has brought a lot into my life and I kind of want to give back a little bit when I can. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for watching, especially if you watched the whole way through. You are a winner in my book, A++ um, teacher grade. <laughs> um, I hope you guys take care of yourselves. Have a great day. Uh, paint lots and stay creative. Bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye. <laughs>